everyone, how's everyone doing today? My name is Gina and I am doing great. So today I'm gonna to be making a birthday card for one of Amanda's friends. Um, he is in the Explorers with her, which is a police program. And um, so, and he is a boy and he is a teenager. So I could not glitterify it like I normally do. So I had to make it, you know, for a teen boy. So, I'm using my Sizzix die that I love, 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 love. And I'm going to be using um, some paper that I created myself and the gray cardstock out of the Hobby Lobby cardstock that I just showed. Um, I don't know what I was thinking. I put this die on crooked on a striped piece of paper, which was silly. So, it came out crooked. So, I had to do it again, which you'll see. Um, but the reason I'm using this paper is because it is a thicker paper because I did it on like 65 pound cardstock. Um, I printed it on 65 pound cardstock. So um, the, the, what I really wanted to use was the crossword looking puzzle paper. And I'm going to be using a magnet and that's why I needed the thicker paper because the crossword paper is not at all thick enough. So I'm using this die. I love this die again. I love this die. I used it on my last set of cards and I'm doing the happy birthday and I forgot that I needed to use that other part. Duh. Totally forgot. And I was like, uh oh. But I went back and used the frame. There it is. So uh, usually you put those both together and I just forgot to do that. So, but it ended up working out just fine anyway. So I'm going to cut the crossword puzzle um, out just a little bit shorter than the striped paper. Um, and in the end, the frame that says happy birthday on it ends up covering the striped paper anyway. So I really could have just used just the white cardstock that I used anyway and saved my ink, but I didn't know. I started doing it so you know no foul so um, I'm just gonna be double checking to make sure that it will line up and it does and I think it looks really cool I really love it the party she is going to is a um, murder mystery and of course like I said this is the Explorers program which is uh, part of the police department right um, so I thought it would be really cute if I created a coin envelope that is like an evidence bag right um, to put either money in or a gift card in so that is what I'm doing and as you can see that's what I'm cutting out right now uh, to to get it on there so I'm just scoring where I need to score the lines and um, I will be using the magnet on the coin envelope um, so that it will stay on the card but then he can take it off you know to get the his gift card or his money out so I think this turned out super duper cute yeah I start to put glue on there and I'm like uh, Gina you haven't put the magnet on there yet so yeah so I, I'm like okay I gotta put the magnet on so I just drop the magnet in and then close it up and then I'm just going to um, I'm inking it up with my archival ink in the black, jet black, uh, just on the sides, just so that, you know, it just will look a little better, I feel, in my opinion, it'll look a little better. Um, once we put either the gift card or money in the envelope, we'll probably uh, tape the other, you know, flap down. But right now it's open because we haven't put, put his gift in there yet. So... Um, now I'm just trying to figure out where do I want the magnet, where do I, you know, want the card. And then I kind of just put a little mark so I know where to stick it. And then it's just, you know, taping down the panels on top of one another. Um, again, double checking before I put the uh, tape on there because I didn't want to flub that up. And uh, then I'm just using my art glitter glue to glue the frame down. And then I um, just took a red pen and marker and just wrote happy birthday in all these blocks. I thought that looked really cute uh, to do that. And then the 
envelope just goes right on top. Then on the inside, I wanted to stamp a sentiment, um, just happy birthday. Uh, so I just used my Versamark ink and then used white embossing powder to um, emboss it. And I think it turned out super duper cute. Um, I love that sentiment. So, um, and then what I wanted to do was to create a, uh, oh yes, I was thinking of my envelope I made, but I also took, instead of using glossy accents, I just used Nouveau's theirs. It was just the clear and it, it worked perfectly. So now I'm making the envelope for the card, um, cut out at eight and a half by eight and a half, and then just use my scoreboard as indicated and scored the lines and created a cute little envelope to go with the card. So this was so fun. I loved doing this card. It was, it, it turned out really, really cute, I thought. I think he'll like it. So, well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe if you've not already subscribed. And if you have, thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. But don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified for every time that I post a video. All right, y'all be good to one another, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.